haven't made a um, a video for a while. Uh, mostly due to school and working. Um, I'm gonna start naming my videos um, Aquarius um, Chronicles, just so that it can be easily tagged and found on YouTube. Um, I do feel like uh, my I do feel like my videos deserve more views. It's probably just that the titles are so broad and so kind of um, kind of just narrow. And maybe I'm not putting enough tags in it, but um, I'm just gonna try try to give it like a similar name. But uh, anyways, uh, yesterday I met um, a female. And, uh, me and her was talking, we got, we got along pretty good, fairly, fairly well, uh, and, um, he was talking about race, and then, uh, she ended up bringing up, uh, Black Lives Matter, she asked if I supported it, I told her no, and then she was shocked, and then I explained why, and then, you know, she was kind of understanding to it. And then I asked her if she was a feminist, and she was like, yeah. And I held my breath. And then we kind of dialogued some more, and I told her I wasn't a feminist. And then she just kind of cut me off. And this is kind of like, uh, this is kind of an annoying thing that I feel like it's a black female trait, even though she's mixed. Um, let me describe her uh, ethnicity. She's... She she says she's a uh, Filipino mixed with Creole, but you know she kind of claims more towards Creole. Um, you know, she looks more Creole than kind of like an Asianish type. But like I was saying, um, you know, me and her went off pretty well. It was just kind of that one hiccup and. I really do feel like this is a common trait that I run across women, especially black women. Um, and she's, I feel like she adopted that trait for black women. She has to, she's into all that Black Lives Matter and all that black feminist bullshit. And uh, I was willing to be her friend despite, you know, the differences. I was, I was just kind of like willing and able to like, okay, you're a feminist. I have friends who are feminists. I have... Uh, a friend who's a Negro Bedouin. I don't bully them. I just kind of like talk to them and get to know their views so I can make a video about it. <laughs> and um, I, we were actually we were texting and I, I was just kind of mad that, you know, she cut me off for no like, no realistic reason. It, it, it just kind of, but you know, I'm kind of used to it because I always feel like when it comes to black women, and and I know people are gonna be like, but she's not black though. But it's like it's a black trait because I've I've run into the same problem multiple times with black women, so I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm doing. Like like I was saying. Um, it's the same problem with black women once because like every time black women you know meet a brother or somebody or they meet me they always find some excuse to be confrontational to be disagreeing to start drama you know I, we can't just kind of agree to disagree you know it reminds me of the story or the time when I was uh, um I told a girl that I wasn't Christian. And she was like, why? Huh? Who? What? And then she just labels me off. Oh, you're a Satanist. You're a devil worshiper. You're, you're, you know, she started lumping like dumb shit together like Satanists and atheist are like the same thing. And it's like, where do you get this retarded notion? You go into a predominantly white school and you, you, you have non-Christian friends, but, you know, it bothers you that a black man can be not Christian, but when you see Muslims or Indians who don't even worship your fucking white God, 
it's a problem. I mean, it's not a problem. It's not a problem to you. You're okay with that. Let it be a black man. Oh, what the fuck? Huh? You devil worshiping motherfucker. And they they always and they always do this shit with you know when a black man ain't trying to act like that. When there's like a difference. I get get I get it mostly through religion. I get the oh you deviling worship motherfucker. Um because of my uh political views. I'm not Democratic, but I'm not really Republican. Sometimes I'll fake being Republican, but, you know, sometimes I, the thing is that it's, it's complicated, but I kind of do wish we, we had a Republican president next. I, I'm not, I, I hate Trump. I don't even think he's a realistic candidate. But um, I think we really do need a, uh, a Republican candidate so black folks can know how much we're hated. I, I just kind of, that would just kind of be like a video on its own, but, you know, I just feel like Obama has put a lot of black people in sleep mode, and we can't spot racism anymore because we feel like Obama's, you know, going to fix everything, or Obama's, you know, our savior. You know, we're, we're very sleep on the wheel. We, we, we don't see, we, th- we think we're progressing, but we're regressing, basically. Um... Like I was saying, um, you know, like with political views, black women can't wrap their head around somebody who's not democratic. And the funny thing about black women, they fake their knowledge of being um, democratic. They have like no idea what it means. They have no idea about anything about the candidates or what they stand for. It's just like, oh, well, just vote for Hillary, you know, (laughs) vote for uh, Bernie Sanders. He's cool. He marched with Dr. King. I don't give a fuck about him marching for Dr. King. Like, what is he doing for black folks? I can give less than a shit about him marching with Dr. King. Like, I give a damn. You know, that, 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 that's what kills me. Sorry about the background noise. I'm outside, but it's just stupidity like that that like aggravates me. And then, like, females, black women want to shame me. Or make me look dumb because I'm not like them. I'm not a Democrat. What's the point of being a Democrat? What what advantages have you gotten for being Democratic? None. You have a fake president who don't even give a damn about black issues. But you're jumping up and down. Oh, he ended the war in Iraq just to get another what? Goddamn war? <laughs> you act like troops are not going to come back. They're going to come back. So, so what is what is your milestone victories? What has Obama done for you? Nothing. But yet I'm criticized for knowing what the fuck's going on in politics. A lot of these black women don't know anything about politics, but yet they will put the finger on you for saying, "Oh, why you you know when you say that you're not a Democrat and you have, you know, other views." So we got religion, uh, politics. Um, and probably, I'll probably say, like, gender construct, because this is where, with, you know, the issue with the, with the mixed girl, and I don't know if she's mad, but, you know, I'm assuming she is, or, you know, she just kind of cuts me off because she feels like I'm confrontational, and all I just said was that I'm not a feminist. Uh, just like most guys are not feminists. Most guys don't even know what feminism is, so how are you taking anger with me? Um, you know, I'm... I'm basically like a guy who never heard of feminism. So, you know, how many guys you know are feminist? But, you know, that's a whatever. You know, I, I, the, another thing, well, not nothing, but just an add on is that, you know, women always get on me for my views on gender, gender roles. Oh, that's so stupid. Like, like why should women do that? Uh, you know, they always want to do, be rebellious. They always want to be, oh, what well, you know, always trying to excuse ratchetness. You know, I'm, t- I'm talking to a female about this girl that I saw in the clinic. Had a damn breast. She had a tattoo on her chest reading out, boss bitch. I kid you not. It read, boss bitch. And... 
the child was like four years old, a young male, seeing that on a woman, what do you expect him to grow up to be? This dude ain't gonna believe, you know, women, um, like, you know, that there's two genders, uh, male and female. This is what he's gonna think. He's gonna think that, oh, well, there's niggas and then there's bitches. That's what he's gonna think. And females allow this bullshit. That's what gets me angry. But they get angry at me for being outraged about it. Oh, you know, she ain't harming nobody. Oh, you know, teen pregnancy isn't a big deal. Oh, um, you know, teen, you know, um, single moms aren't bad. They're not a bad choice. You can date them. The fuck I'm not. And, you know, black women are always disagreeing with something. There's always an issue. There's always some kind of political, you know, strife. Maybe it's just me, but, you know, this video isn't supposed to be an, an attack on black women. But I'm just saying that, you know, it, it's frustrating when you're dealing with, when you're just casually talking to people. And, well, talking to black women. And they want to be confrontational all of a sudden because you don't have the same viewpoints as them. You know, you tell them, I'm not Christian. What the fuck, motherfucker? What you mean you're not Christian? Um, I'm not a Democrat. You motherfucker, how dare you not vote for Obama? Um, uh, I don't support feminism. You sexist, misogynistic pig, you. Fuck you. And they, they do all of this ridiculous shaming for what? You know? When, when have black women been winning? Really? But yet I'm wrong. You know, I'm bringing out good ideas. I'm bringing out another side that people purposely neglect. But hey, I'm the idiot. I'm, I'm done with this video. I'm just done with it. Because this female kind of got me mad. But then again, it's like, if she stopped talking to, to me, I'm okay with that. You know, she's a pretty face. But hey, you know, if, if I got to let her go, I got to let her go. It's not a big deal, you know. It, it's just stupid that when you try to be friends with people and they constantly pick issues that are trivial and not worth arguing about. It, it's not worth it. But hey, you know... A friend is a dime a dozen, you know, you can get new friends every day, every minute, whatever, just, you know, it doesn't matter.